Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to configure the, we're going to continue configuring this route based VPN and we're going to configure the branch ASA. So let's get started here. All right, so for the branch ASA, what we want to do is, let's see what we, we need to do. Um, Okay, so let's go to group policy. So this is going to be for 65.10.10.20 internal and group policy. 65.10.10.20 attributes okay that'll take us into attributes and what we'll do is vpn-tunnel protocol like v2 okay so that is set now we're going to create, like we did on the last one, the crypto IPsec profile. We're going to call it again, VPN L2L IPsec. And we're going to set Ike V2, the IPsec proposal, which we just create, which we had created before. That's going to be VPN transform so that's already created we're going to set diffie hellman to group 19 and we're going to set the security association lifetime seconds 86 400 one day okay so now we're going to go into tunnel Now we can exit out of there to go into tunnel group 65.10.10.20 general attributes assign the default group policy 65.10.10.20 then we will create the tunnel interface, tunnel 10. You can use any number that you like. And we'll give this name, name this interface, HQ L2L. We'll give it an IP address of 169.254. Dot ten dot two fifty four, and you can see up here. Let's look at the interfaces. So here's the other interface, the tunnel of the VPN ASA over here. You can see that we put one sixty nine two fifty four ten dot two fifty three. Okay, so that's a simple point to point connection. And it's a slash 30. Okay, our tunnel, our source interface is going to be interface outside. Our tunnel destination is going to be 65.10.10.20. Tunnel mode. IPsec, IPv4, and now tunnel protection, IPsec profile, VPN dash L2, L2L, IPsec. And that's what we just created up here. 
Where do we create that? Right here. There it is. So there we're tying it together to the the tunnel interface. Okay, so that is done. Let's exit. Now we're going to do a route statement. HQL2L10.150.0.0255.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
IP address, doesn't have to be routable. So often you'll see the 169, 254 used here, and that's perfectly fine. I recommend that. Tunnel source outside, tunnel destination, tells it where to go to this other side. Tunnel mode, and then the tunnel protection for the second phase, phase two. All right, let's uh, look at what else we have configured here. So we don't need any type of access list for this. It's not necessary. We don't have to have, we don't have the concept of interesting traffic. The route takes care of all that. It's much cleaner. And okay, we have the Crypto Ike policy right here. And Crypto Ike V2 enabled outside. And the tunnel group. So tunnel group says this is an IPsec L to L. Tunnel group general attributes using this default group policy. And you can see the group policy right here uh, is just saying use VPN tunnel protocol Ike V2 for this tunnel. So that's, that's where it's defined in this group policy and we assign the group policy. Also over here, Let's, let's continue down the config. So here we have group policy and we have a VPN filter that's set. So you can also do VPN filters. Let's see if that's set up. Show run or show access list. Let's do that and VPN filter is allowing www and SSH. Um, let's see, so show run. Let me extend this, that's not too clean here. Do that again. There we go. You see the hit counts are going up. So let's do a no. Yeah, let's block HTTP traffic. So can I just do that? So let's do that. <clears throat> All right, so that is now gone. And let's try let's try to connect HTTP over here from this Docker, which is the 10160 10.10. .10. Um, let's just run Telnet for 80. And now you can see that we can't connect to it. So you can use VPN filters with route based. You can use it with policy based. It doesn't really make much of a difference. You can use it on either one. And it's a great way for to secure your VPN, especially if you're dealing with, say, a, another company or, you know, something like that, some kind of service that you're getting that you want to connect VPN to. All right. So that's a route based VPN. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you again. Thanks.